Hello there, my name is Jaden Moore. You might notice the quality of this video is a bit weird. It's because I can't find my good camera and my phone is dead. Or rather, out of storage and almost dead. So, we're going to be using the spare camera I have for now. Uh, today, we're going to be upgrading my Dell Dimension 3000 desktop in 2004. Uh, we're going to be putting a new CPU in it. Uh, that's already installed because I can't find the original. Um, we're going to be putting in the NVIDIA GeForce FX 5500 graphics card. And then we're going to be putting in 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is take off the front cover. Now you see here there's this little thing that you're able to move. Now what you want to do is you want to push that down and then pull kind of difficult to do with one hand but switch hands here actually but it's doable and you can just go set that there and then you can see that we have the inside here we have the RAM there we have the CPU and then we have the PCI slots now first thing we're gonna change is the CPU now what you want to do is you want to pull up the sprint fan shroud you don't have to remove it but you can and we want to take out the heat sink now yours might have green clips uh, mine doesn't I it did originally but I've since then removed them to make it a little bit easier to do or to use because they're in my opinion a little bit difficult to remove so what you want to do is you want to pull these clips there you go you want to pull one clip oh sorry that thing's in the way but you want to pull this clip here out and then you see this lever here you want to pull it out just a little bit and then lift it up and then until it clicks then you can just lift out the CPU and we're going to be putting this back in uh, this is a Pentium 4 3.2 gigahertz uh, we're going to be just putting this back in because it's easy, it's easy to do. So you just put it in, make sure the two triangles on the socket and on the CPU line up, and then you just press it, put the lever down again. And then you just put it back, and then you just put the heat sink back in, like so. The next thing we're going to do is the RAM. See here they are right here. This is 512 megabytes. Uh, what you want to do is you see there are these white things here. What you want to do is you pull, pull them till they click. And there's some over here too. Pull them till they click, and you can just lift them out. Uh, these are like high ink sticks. Uh, I'm just gonna keep them for spares, and we're gonna be using Patriot. This is a Two gigabyte kit. Uh, you want to make sure the things line up on either side. They only go in one way. You want to press either side with equal force until they click, or until the white things move and press in on their own. Ooh, whoopsies. Uh. You, you want to be a little bit gentle, but you don't have to be too gentle. That is very unprofessional. But, just press, each, press down each side differently. Let me put this shroud back down now. Then what you want to do is put in the video card. Here it is. This is the PCI version, because there is no PCIe or uh, AGP slot. This thing has a modem, which I am going to keep because because it does fit with the video card. But you want what you want to do is see these pins here. You want to try and get this the that thing there to kind of line up and kind of see down there and see if they if see and see if it lines up properly. Now it should. So you just want to kind of. Press it in, but be a little bit gentle until it clicks in there. Now, I'm not going to put in the 
brew on camera because it's kind of difficult, but that's how you do it. Uh, the specs of this thing were 2.6 gigahertz Celeron single core. Now it is a single core Pentium 4, 3.2 gigahertz. That one, had the, the original had a 256 kilobyte cache. This is a 512 kilobyte cache now. We installed a NVIDIA GeForce FX 5500 video card and 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now this thing is just a little bit less obsolete. But now we can go and put that cover on. Now I might see a complete teardown of this machine in the future and go through every part in a little bit of detail. Let's see, we got one and two. Both of these work. I was a little bit confused by it at first because one one of the pins one had pins, the other one didn't. But it worked. So we are pretty much finished here. I'm gonna keep the, the extra parts as spares. But till next time, this is Jade and more and I guess in the words of YBR, I'll see ya.